AJ. Tonight we're going to make another uh, Italian dish and this is a spaghetti in a garlicky sauce. It is really simple to make and it's absolutely delicious so keep watching. Um, in my videos I'm not going to be able to give them out. I'm somebody that doesn't cook according to measurements. I've always cooked to taste instead. So what you're going to have to do is just learn to adapt to always putting the amount in that you think is necessary and, and, and the amount that is going to be required for your taste buds, not everybody else's. So I always find that if I follow instructions, it never turns out to how I want it. So I've always had to adapt and I urge you to do the same. Everybody's taste buds are different. So I do urge that you just learn to cook to taste and not have to worry about following instructions. So you're going to need some spaghetti, a small to medium sized onion, some asparagus, you'll need some basil, oregano, Himalayan salt to taste, and some sun dried tomato. You do reserve some of the oil as well. You'll need some garlic, now I'd say four to five cloves, it all depends on how big the cloves are a vegan margarine, you want some cracked pepper and some mushrooms. Nom, nom. You also want a little bit of fresh parsley to garnish. But until then, cheers. Once that has softened slightly, add in your basil, your oregano, and your asparagus. And then just give that a stir. And let that cook for about three minutes. Now that's been cooking for a few minutes, you wanna bring it down to a simmer and you're gonna add in your spaghetti or your pasta of choice. Now what you wanna do is add in your sun-dried tomatoes, your salt, and if you choose, your olives. And give that a stir around. You also wanna add in the starchy water that you have saved and put aside. After you've done that, you want to add in a little bit of sun-dried tomato oil.
Now we taste test. Mmm. Wow. That right there is so amazing. Makes me want to sing now. Every time you will need just like me, they long to be close to you. No, but really, this is really, really good. I want to be close to it. Well, that's it for tonight. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a great night. Cheers. Why do birds suddenly appear? Hey, does it ever make you wonder what's on my mind? Ooh, and I, I was only ever running back to your side.